Okay, let's talk about Salesforce applications and tabs. An application in Salesforce is a group of tabs with an associated logo. You can use an application to group a common set of functionality for users, such as sales, marketing, recruiting, or whatever applies to your company. You cannot change the name or the logo of standard applications that come bundled with Salesforce. Therefore, it is a common practice to use a custom application to display your organization's logo, even if the tabs remain the same. So for instance, I created a custom application called COD Sales just to display the same tabs that are in the sales application, but using my company logo. Okay, so let's look at how to create a custom application. And you can see that I've done so here, but let's take a look at the steps from start. First off, you need to upload the logo that you want to use into a document. Now, I recommend creating a document folder for logos. If you upload files into your personal documents folder, then if somebody else needs to get to the file in the future, or for instance, replace the logo, uh, they can't. So it's best to create a folder. So that's what I've done here. And if we go look at the folder, I've uploaded the logo. You have to have externally available image checked in order for the image to be able to be used in an application. So that got me the first time around. And then to create the actual application, you just go to create applications new and we're going to create a custom app. Now we insert the image that was just uploaded. Click next and we can select the tabs. I'm just gonna save this. Once the application is created and assigned to user profiles or permission sets, the user can then select that application, which will determine which tabs are displayed along the top of the screen. There are three types of tabs. Object tabs you're probably pretty familiar with, they're the ones that allow you to access the records of a given object. So for instance, the leads tab is an object tab. And on the home page of an object tab, you'll see list view selection as well as a list of recently viewed records. One key thing to note about object tabs is that if an object has a tab, its records are included in search results. If an object does not have a tab, then its records are not included in search results. So for instance, leads has a tab, therefore lead records are returned in search results. If I search for John Smith, John Smith is a lead in my system, he'll show up in the search results. However, opportunity line items, which allow you to add products to an opportunity, so if you're selling 500 widgets, you would add a line item to say 500 widgets sold at $10 a piece. If you do a search for 500 widgets, unless the opportunity name or that data is collected somewhere in the opportunity itself, the actual line item itself will not show up in the search results because there's no tab associated with opportunity line item. Web tabs allow you to display a website within the Salesforce interface. So if I had a company intranet page and I wanted to you know, provide a tab so that users could simply click that tab and then get my company intranet page, really easy way to do it. Visual Force tab allows you to publish a Visual Force page, very similarly to how a web tab works. A user's profile and their permission sets determine which applications and tabs they can select. So applications are either visible and they can be selected and every profile must have a default application. Tabs are a bit more involved. There's default on which will display the tab along the top of the screen if it's included in the application. Default off means that even if the tab is included in the application, it will not be displayed for the user. The user can still select the tab by clicking the plus mark at the end of the list of tabs, and they can still view the records within search results. Tab hidden means that the user cannot select the tab whatsoever. There are a variety of ways that you might end up using these settings. For instance, 
let's say the true inside sales team may primarily work with leads and rarely with accounts and opportunities, while the outside sales team may work primarily with accounts and opportunities and rarely leads. You could maintain a single sales application for both groups, and you would set the leads tab to default on for inside sales and set it to default off for outside sales. Likewise, you would set the account and opportunity tabs to default off for inside sales, default on for outside sales. That's just one example of how you can use the applications and tabs in conjunction. It, it really depends on your organization and how you want to structure your access to various functionality. Quick note too, users can customize their tabs. So if a user wants to see leads before accounts or wants data.com included in their sales app, they can change their, their tabs, their tab order, and they have the ability to customize that without any sort of administrator intervention. However, in the application settings, an administrator can override the ability for users to do this customization.